Hey, what's up? So there is a big news floating on the internet about the next update of Windows 11, which is called Windows 11 24H2. And it has some new system requirements, which you cannot bypass. You know, Windows 11 has crazy system requirements, but we can still bypass those system requirements and install Windows 11 on almost any computer even if you have a really old computer from like 90s. But that is about to change with the Windows 11 24H2 update because of the new system requirements. I have been reading some articles, news about this new system requirement and uh, it's actually not that bad because it only affects the CPUs made before 2008 and 2011. 2008 is for Intel and 2011 is for AMD. So in CPUs there is this thing called population count and uh, Windows 11 24H2 will not boot if you don't have population count instructions uh, called SSE 4.2 or something like that okay here we have a picture of it posted in 11 forms you can actually use the cpu z program to check whether you have the ssc 4.2 and sse 4a if you have this that means you can run windows 11 24 h 2 without a problem if you don't have this that means you cannot run this and you cannot bypass this as of now maybe people will figure out to bypass this but for now it looks like you cannot boot Windows 11 24H2 without these. And again, as I said, this is actually not that bad, all right? If you have an Intel CPU, which was made in 2008 or after that, you're good to go because all the Intel CPUs made after 2008 supports these new system requirements. But for the AMD, it's 2011. So if you have AMD CPU, which was made after 2011 you're good to go but if it was made before the 2011 it's not good the windows 11 24h2 won't work uh, if you have a really 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 old pc this is not a good news for you but if you have a relatively like old pc from 2010 or something you're good i mean you can still bypass everything like cpu requirement and RAM requirement and TPM and secure boot and everything. You can bypass all those things and you can still run the Windows 11 24H2. Uh, you just need to make sure that you have these on your CPU. Let's actually download the CPU Z and we're gonna check whether our system supports the Windows 11 24H2 or not, all right? So let's run this install this first actually install successfully now i'm gonna run this as an administrator so my cpu is intel core i7 9th gen all right and it looks like every cpu has a little bit of different instructions so it's the amd ryzen 7 so you can see in amd it has that sse 4.2 and ssc 4a since i have the intel it has the 4.1 4.2 but there is no like 4.a but it has something called emt 64t as long as you have the sse 4.2 or even like sse 4.1 you're good to go i think so yeah it looks like my PC will be able to run Windows 11 24H2 without a problem. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. You can also, you know, go ahead and check your CPU, whether it supports Windows 11 24H2 or not. I mean, again, as I said, if your CPU was made before like 2010, you're out of luck. If it was made after the 2010, 11, you're in luck. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.